What's up, everybody? Welcome to Friend Fridays, where I'm just gonna talk to you guys about what's going on in my life, give you guys a couple shout outs, maybe talk about some funny stuff that happened to me this week. Not really sure yet, kinda just gonna wing it. Let me know in the comments if you got any cool, funny ideas. So basically, the reason I wanted to do this is I realized I don't really get to connect with you guys. I realized this on one of my videos. If you guys noticed, I never used to talk on any of my videos, and now I do a little thing at the end where I'm just like, hey guys, subscribe, like, comment, share, yeah. So I get this comment. I've never talked to this person before in my life. And they commented, OMG, he talks. <laughs> It was like the funniest thing to me because I realized like a lot of musicians are like singers, right? So when they're singing to you, you kind of like feel that connection with them. But me, like you guys don't have that same connection because I'm just some dude like, you know, playing the piano, but I never really get to like talk to you guys. So that's what this show is going to be about. Just kind of talking to you guys, letting you guys know what's up with my life, asking you guys some questions. All right, so I want to give a shout out to one of you guys. So this week, Brian from Twitter, he's an awesome dude. He is really helping me spread my music. He'll retweet like all my videos and like share them with his friends and stuff like that. And you know, I really appreciate that. And I was talking to him on Twitter, and he was saying, yeah, you know, it's my birthday today. Like, what if I played happy birthday for him? Gave him a shout out on Instagram. Like, I bet he would love that. So I made a little video, happy birthday. You can see it on Instagram if you want. Tagged him in the video. His response was seriously hilarious. Like, it made my day. His response was like, gee, 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 which is actually Spanish for he, 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 which is like laughing. Not a lot of people know that. A little fun fact for the day. <laughs> and then there's like 10 emoticons after it. I think his phone is going to be like, sorry, you reached your quota for emoticon. You reach your emota quota. <laughs> I just made that up right now. You guys can use it if you want. Hashtag emoto quota. Anyway, I'm rambling. He was super happy about it, but it really made me feel good, you know, because it was like, I made his day, you know, and he kind of made my day better. And it was kind of cool, like, connecting with one of you guys that I've never actually met in real life, but you really support me in my music. So I really do appreciate that. So go wish the dude a happy birthday. Go follow him on Instagram. Here's his tag. Tag? Is that what you call him on Instagram? Here's his handle at username. To be honest, I don't know much about technology. My sister literally taught me how to use Instagram. Seriously, I was like sitting there. Hey, you post a, a picture or can you only post videos my sister was like no zach you have to take selfies like this you have to get the downward angle duh only put half your face in the screen it's called the half face <laughs> i was like what why would you only put half your face in the screen that sounds ridiculous so i tried to put half my face in the screen and it's on facebook that photo got more likes than like any photo i ever posted i was like Man, the half face is legit. And it's funny because like I always make fun of my dad about that same kind of stuff. Dad, you don't have to double click links. Let me tell you about my dad real quick, real quick. So when he's looking up a YouTube video, right? First, he'll go to the search bar on top that you can just type in YouTube, right? And he'll type in Google. That'll bring, <laughs> that brings him to the Google page. Then on Google, he types in YouTube. And then it brings him to the Google search results. And he clicks on YouTube. And then up on the top, he finally like types in Zach Evans. It is hilarious. But now I'm feeling like that because I'm like, yeah, Instagram, don't know how to use this. And my sister's probably like, Zach, you're an idiot. <laughs> By the way, I really hate typing on my phone. So if you guys really want to like talk to me, add me on Twitter or Facebook. I talk to people there all the time. Anyway, Twitter, Instagram, at Zach Evans Music, if you guys want to talk to me. Also, I got a new project coming up. If you guys like the piano, guys, you're going to love this. It's kind of a spoof off of it, but kind of not. But I think it's going to be super cool. I met this cello player down here. He is a crazy good cello player. And we're doing a project that involves a Maroon 5 song mashed up with an old school song. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'll let you guys know when it's out. All right, now I want to ask a question that I get all the time. On Twitter and Instagram everybody always says hey Zach what kind of keyboard do you recommend I get this question so much I thought I might as well just answer it for all you guys the most important thing is you want one with weighted keys some of them have the kind of washboard keys where you press it and there's no resistance at all those are terrible for learning because you don't build any finger strength you don't build any technique so make sure you get one with weighted keys press it down make sure there's some tension coming back up on your finger as of what model I personally have a Yamaha piano I love it I play it all the time anyway that's all I got for you guys um, let me know if you like this how can i improve it is this is this background music annoying i thought i'd make it kind of catchy and like hey what's up guys to have a good time if it's annoying just be like i'm sick of listening to bad techno music behind your talk and then i'll just be like all right guys anyway thanks a lot guys for watching and peace out